How's it going everybody? My name is Rhinosaur and welcome to my let's play of Vermination. Now this looks like a pretty, pretty cool looking game. It's on Game Jolt right now and um, I just thought I'd give it a go because it's a good old indie side scroller so I love this sort of thing and it has some sort of horror aspect to it. So without further ado, let's go into it. Oh, do I have to use a mouse? Oh, there we go. Spacebar. Okay. What the devil? Where am I? I feel so tired and weak. Yeah, I'm making this guy British straight away. I have to find out where I am and what is going on. No, it's too British. No, I won't make it. I have to find out where I am and what is going on. Alright. Oh, Z. Oh, Z. Why am I saying Z? I'm not American. An empty jar of pills. Have I been drugged? Nope. Okay, this is a weird control scheme. It's arrows to move, Z to interact with stuff, and spacebar to progress the text. And my guy's glowing in the dark. He is very bright considering there is no light around him. Okay, might as well. And that's a bloody bathtub. Bathrooms are never good in horror games, as you know. Same with windows. The bathtub is stained with some blood. Is this a place of some psycho murderer? Well, it wouldn't surprise me. My guy's really nervous as well. He's like breathing in, out, in, out. Shake it all about. Okay. We're not really coming across anything good at the moment. It's an abandoned place. Oh, I thought there was going to be something popping out that wardrobe then. you got to love lightning. Oh, and creaky stairs, apparently. Okay. Okay. Um, tough choice, tough choice. Let's go in the one that I can actually see. There's not really much you can do. Unless there is actually an interact button with one of the things around. I don't like these open wardrobes. I really don't. They're probably going to prove to be like hiding places in the future. Oh, here we go. What's that? Is that? It looks like dynamite from here. Oh, it's a sturdy pocket knife. I couldn't be any far off it. Hold the X key to view your items. Okay, I have got a pocket knife and I'm not afraid to use it. Where do I use the pocket knife now? I am not really... Oh, hello. Can I grab the jacket? Oh, yeah, alright. Okay. Let's go in the vent, you know? This isn't... It's called Vermin Nation, so you would have thought it would be like rats. Uh, a long rake. Let's just pick it up and put it in my pocket. Because that makes sense in every aspect of a horror game. The exit door is locked tight. I'm actually quite confused that you know that that's the exit door. Man, this thunder. Oh, the exit door is locked tight. There's two exit doors. Okay. Hello. Can I do anything right now? So I've got a rake and a pocket knife. What the hell, do, what the hell would I do with them? Oh, hold on. That was not there before, I can tell you that. Why is it? This is like some empty house as well. Oh, hello. That's not the first creepy thing I've come across. She hanged herself. What the hell is happening here? It seems like she has a key in her pocket. Yeah, you know, just take the key out of the pocket, you know, loot the girl. You're not going to even let her down and like rest her on the chair. That's just gruesome. Oh, I used the rake to open the thing, apparently. Right, so I've got a key, so can I go down and use it on the door? Is that expected too much? Right, what the hell is this? The mechanism seems to be missing a cogwheel. Good to know. Now, I don't really do anything there. Nothing there, really. 
Okie dokie, right, let's go and see if this opens up a door. My god. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm free. I'm not liking this though. I've got to say, this is a really loud game. I've got my headphones. Oh, hello, cogwheel. It's a rusty cogwheel. Okay. Now I'm waiting for the first thing to happen out here. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Cool. Cool. Yep, that's the murderer, isn't it? Although it looked a lot like me. So, is this one of those psychological horror stuff when you're actually the murderer? Yeah, I've got the cogwheel. There you go. I can hear something heavy moving downstairs. Perhaps a secret passage. Oh, just perfect. Right, where's the secret passage? Is it going to be in here? Nurse, wishing too much. What about over here? Oh, there we go, bookcase. So what is a bookcase? People love putting secret passages behind bookcases. My goodness, it's dark here. I should find a light source. Well, at least I can actually hear now. That's the thing. Well, you don't really need a light source when you've got a light around you, to be honest. Oh, splendid. It's a candle and a few matches. What are the odds of that? Okay, now this has just made it like ten times creepier. It's an empty vial. Log 12, June 30th, 1902. Test subject 5 seems to be stable. Human DNA is now fully visible. Need to work on his high level of aggression. Good stuff. They're experimenting on stuff. It looks like a chemical mixing device. So they were performing experiments and they fused the DNA of a human with an animal from the sound of it. Perfect. Okay. Two doors, left or right. I always say lefty always bestie. But let's see. Where this takes us, this is a wine cellar. It's a light stool. I'm not going to say that it's for hanging myself later like that girl up there, but, you know. This door seems to be blocked up in a rush. To keep people out, or to keep something in. Well, let's not wait around to find out. Right. Right door, let's see. Oh, hello, there's a hammer up there. Luckily, I've got a trusty stool. A sturdy sledgehammer. So we're going to knock down the brick wall like we just said to keep something in. Okay. The logic in that. Okay. Can't I just like use the sledgehammer on like a wall and just get out of here instead of looking around? This is not a good idea. This really isn't. Okay, that was loud. Hello? No, nothing's it. There better not be the girl back from the dead, because if it is, I'm probably just going to scream. Just bear in mind, I haven't played a proper horror game in, like, forever. And the cage has been destroyed, or would you call that a cage or prison cell? It looks like something broke out of there. Something big. Cool stuff. Let's go and check it. I don't want to go that way. That was a rat tail. At least I think it was. Okay. And I didn't hear a door close, so how the hell did it go through there? Oh, hello. A big cage and blood and a woman's scream earlier. Are they keeping humans here? Uh, I don't want to find out. Uh... Uh, okay. Uh. Hello? Whatever you do, do not scream. Hey! You, you're still alive. Can you tell me where we are? Leave me alone. Go away. Just go away. 
Don't worry, I will get you out of here. Oh god, that, that was weird. Don't worry, I'll get you out of here. <laughs> Log 13, July 2... Tooth? <laughs> July 2nd, 1902. Bit of grammar error. Crossing mice, yep, yeah, crossing mice with human DNA was a great success. Bit of spelling there. Sorry, I can't help it. After all the test rats had died, I became sceptic. Does that mean septic? I became I became sceptic. Using mice must be it. Uh, so the guy or the girl, whichever one, is the one who experimented. He experimented on himself, and he made himself. Why can I hear another woman? Oh, hello. Please help me. It's getting close. I have to kill my lights and hide. Uh, run. What the hell is that? Okay, that, that's a mouse. What the? Yeah. What the hell was that abomination? It best be gone. Oh, well. He's trying to burn it, man. It best be gone. Okay, let's just go back to where it came from anyway. Again, I didn't hear the door shut. Okay. Alright, let's just go to its nest, of all things. Log 16, July 6th, 1902. So this is four, three days after the last one. Oh, no, three days. Four days after the last one, but the third log after that. Test, uh, sorry, test subject five is out of control. I've locked him in the fortified prison cell. Oh, that, that worked well. The experiment has failed again. He has to be exterminated. A rusty key. This should belong to the cages. Oh, you punk. Oh. Um, does that mean I can't go in there then, or...? I didn't realise that I could hide under the damn desk, was that? Hello, I've got the key. Oh, the woman's gone. She's gone. I have to look around. How did she even get out? Where, where could she... Oh, I don't like the sound of this floor. Oh, neither do I. <laughs> Bollocks. I lost my candle and matches. Oh my, this is an entire network of tunnels stuck by that monstrosity. And I'm down there with it, probably. Yay, lefties always. Bestie, hello. Here you are. Come on, we have to leave. Stop it. Just kill me already. Please, I want to help you. I don't need your help. Okay. Fine. Fine, I tried. You know, I could try more, but apparently I'm limited to only saying the same stuff over and over again. Okay. Let's go check out right, because the right is always the worst way. Okay. Hello. Danger mouse. Of all the times the water has to leak, has to leak when I walk past it. Just for that horror effect. Let's go in the giant hole. Okay, I'm gonna get lost now. I can tell. Oh. Can I not get up there? Okay. Um. Oh. That's a pile of skulls. All these human remains. They must have been feeding that beast for months. These women, they are just food. So, why why have I been taken then? And why is it he's only going after women? Oh, he said the same thing and the same thing again. Oh, apparently I can't go anywhere else. Let's go back and check on the woman. Some loud gushing water as well. Hello. Hello. Oh, I'm naming this guy Mortimer, by the way. Just because he's like posh and he's British. 
So why not Mortimer? Right, now we need to get you out of here. Really? Okay, okay. You still want to stay here when... Fine, fine. Alright, so... I don't think... I don't think I've even found a jump button, so... Why not? Why not YOLO it? Okay. Have a shower. Right. Did I even go... Th I did go through all these bits, didn't I? That one is just blocked off. I can't get up there either. Oh! Didn't go this way. Corpse in the ground. I must... Wait, corp haze? Cor corpse in the ground. I must be below an old cemetery. As long as it's not an Indian burial ground, that might get even worse. I like how they're all just like scattered around as well. Look, there's like you don't bury the dead like that. Seriously, is this like been a whole battle? <laughs> no, 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 no! Ah! No! He ate me. Okay. Right. This time, run, run, run. Hello. Hello, danger mouse. Okay, cool stuff, cool stuff. It looks like the tunnels are connected to these old sewers. There must be a way to the surface. Right, now I'm into some sewers. <laughs> so there were sewers. Now, no, there, there was a cemetery, and the sewers next to the cemetery. Uh, what are these people thinking of? Right, log two, May 23rd. 23rd, 1902. The old sewers are perfect to set up my lab, far enough away from my mansion to attract attention. The mice are also ready. Splendid, it's a candle and a few matches. What are the odds of that again? Oh, here we go. Log 4, May 29th, 1902. Someone noticed my presence in the sewers. I may have to move my lab to my cellar. I have already moved the chemical mixer. Ooh, I've got the vials still, haven't I? Log 8, June 15th, 1902. Subject 4 is growing in size, yet no aggression is shown. He is developing human arms and ears. Legs have not changed. So, Subject 5 is the one that got out and is the one chasing me. Do anything? Right, there's two doors over here, so let's check them out. Oh, that's the switch. The lever does not stay down. Perfect. So what I need to make it stay down. Log 1, May 14th, 1902. The mice have arrived. I have a total of three cages at the moment. The experiments may begin. Whoa, uh, 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 uh. I'm just going to take a wild guess here that I am the guy who is, or has been, experimenting on these people. There must be a way to open this gate. The lever. Oh! Okay. Mm it's a strong metal pipe. I could use it to block something. Rats! The pipe was blocking that gate. I have to find a way around it. Oh god. Hello. Hi. Oh. Oh, here we are. I was expecting to get jump scared again. Yes, yeah, not. So good old Morty over here is gonna have a twist of. Oh. That just looks so weird. That does. But yeah, I think he is the one who has been experimenting on these people. If he is, I'm not going to forgive you, Morty. Right. Oh, what was that? Okay. I can't really see what I can do for that, but okay. Let's continue on. What 
the heck, man? Seriously. I've never been so scared of mice. There is something lurking in the waters. I believe it is subject two. Test subject two. Crossing a mouse with shark DNA was a bad idea. You don't say. I think it is blind. As long as I keep still, it can't sense motion. Okay. Noted. Who the hell crosses mice DNA with shark DNA anyway? Alright, let's let it go past. Let it go past me. Let it go past. Let it go past. Go, 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 go! Is this that woman again? Run, run. Damn it. Okay. Right. Wait, does that mean I go away or what? Wait, wait where am I going? Oh, okay, right. Yep, I know, I know you're down there. Sharky, I know you're down there. Ow! No, no, that didn't work. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Oh my god, this is so weird. Calm. Keep it calm. Go, 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 go. Run. Again, I don't know who in their right mind would cross my stock DNA with shark DNA, seriously. Ah! I'm gonna call him Mark. God, I hate any terms of water levels, I really do. Turning this valve will make an awful loud noise, so I have to be very quick. Oh, God! Go! I am pressing this as fast as I can! That was close. This chain is keeping your hatch closed. I miss it. It must be the way to the surface. A sledgehammer can break the chain, but I'm afraid it will be destroyed in the process. Good lord, back on the surface. <laughs> I should look up the monster before it escapes. I must barricade the wall again. In the cellar of the mansion. Okay. I agree with that actually. I am actually agreeing with you. Building is locked. Building is locked. Damn it. So, what do I need to use a vial for, I wonder? Perhaps there is someone who can help me in this inn. They won't hear my knocking. There must be a key somewhere. Under the door, man. Oh, that would be hoping too much. So here we go with the thunder and the rain again. Oh, the blacksmith. The blacksmith is locked. I'm really surprised they have blacksmith still. The door is locked. Everybody's locked in this place. They really know how to lock their stuff. Gate yeah, seems to lead to the cemetery. I can cut down. I can cut open the lock somehow. Oh, that is a dead person. It is too late. The beast has already been to the surface. I have to contain it as soon as possible, while it is still underground. He's holding the key with the words in. Why would he be holding the key to the inn? Yeah, who am I to judge? He's got the key. There we go. Okay, I'm inside, so I can actually hear again. Yeah, let us go over here. I'm just asleep for the night. I'm waiting. Oh, hello. Hello. Are you hiding under the bed? Yes. You should hide as well. It's the devil. The devil is nearby. Where are all the other villagers? I'm not sure. 
Most of them are hiding in the church. I will not. I will never leave here. Cool. You're just gonna stay behind like the other woman. And that person was killed in this. It's a stone. The it says, what you are looking for is in the blacksmith. The door is unlocked. Okay. This is either a, a trap set by the mice man, Danger Mouse, or it's a guy with very good eyesight. And go, 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 go. I saw it. I saw it. I really, really saw it. It's a bolt cutter. It looks a bit weak though. I could use it to cut open the locked gate. Go back. Let's go back now. What the hell? Oh my god, the statue. Freak me out there for a second, Jesus. Although I do have a massive fear of them. Saint Lat Latrus Latrus Church. The church is all boarded up from the outside. How curious. I thought they all went inside. I'm back at the mansion. I think I can open the door from this side. Oh, all the roses. I bet this is well connected to the tunnel network. I could release a poison in here and gas the idiot to death. God, this is really intense. Oh, really intense now. Okay, so what do I have now? I have a vial and a pocket knife. Of which I still haven't really... Oh, was that locked before? I can't remember. Oh, no, it right, so I need to get to the cellar now, don't I? And board up that... thing in the wall. But how am I going to do that if I don't have any like, brick and mortar? Hold on. Can I make the poison? Can I make some poison now? Oh, damn. I thought I was going to get away with that there. Okay. Uh, it was over in this one, wasn't it? The right side. And. No, it wasn't on the right side. Never mind. God, where is this brick wall again? I can't even remember. Ah, there we go. Right. That should do the trick. I have to find a way to slay the beast. Oh. It's a hidden recipe for some sort of potion. Recipe for deaths. Poison. Oh! How convenient is that? Alright. Dead man's blood. Black rose. And a 66 year old bone. This is exactly what I need. I have to gather these ingredients and mix them back in the lab. Right. So, I don't even know. The, the black rose was in the graveyard, wasn't it? The dead man's blood, I can get that. With a vial, I can collect his blood. But a 66 year old bone. No idea where I get one of those unless it's in the basement thing again. Well, let's go. Let's go collect these ingredients. Oh, well done. What's this? It's a shovel. It wasn't there before. Someone's helping me. It might actually be the creator. He might not be me. Where am I going? Sorry. Okay. Oh, right. Magnificent, a black rose. I heard that roses turn black when someone has died nearby. Not a good sign. How curious. The head seems to die without its rose. I'm really creeped out by this. This is a very silent hill right now. I'm not liking this one bit. Graveyard time. The bones. The writing on the gravestone says, 
Sir Martin Riddleton, 1772 to 1836. His remains are 66 years old. I need his bone. This bone is perfect. Why is 66 years old? Is that a rabbit? This body wasn't here before. How long have I been in the mansion? I'm sure it's just a couple of minutes. I... Collect... Use the vial on its blood, surely. Unless I have to go into the inn again and collect a dripping person's blood. I'm gonna go in there. I don't like this noise. Blood. Filled the vial with dead man's blood. Splendid. <laughs> That's not splendid at all. Not for him anyway. Right, I've got ingredients. Back to the mansion. <laughs> Guys, really reminds me of like, Resident Evil. Like, I have to backtrack everywhere. Oh god. Here he comes. Any minute now. Any minute. Oh, hold on. Oh, I thought I was already back at the mansion somehow. Right, okay. God, this fog is creepy. And the music. Getting closer. Yeah, that's even closer. Oh, there's a woman. You! How did you get out of the tunnels? I wanted you to die. How are you alive? I hit you on the head. You hit me on the head? When? I saw you walking downstairs. I hit you on the head with a shovel. I was hoping to kill you, but you only passed out. So that's why I thought everything changed so quickly. What the? Where the hell did she go now? God, I'm confused myself. This guy can just make time go by in an instant apparently right I've got the potion stuff so there's the chemical mixer in here good the poison is ready now I have to empty it in the well well this is gonna be easier said than done isn't it okay you are gonna die I'm gonna kill you this poison, there's nothing you can do to stop me. There, that should do it. You better be dead soon. The church bell? I mean, someone is inside. Oh. Dun, dun. Oh. Somehow they pulled all the boards off. It looks like there was a wedding here. Oh, lovely for them. Congratulations on your wedding day. Here's the present, a rat. It's a photo of the wedded couple. Oh, it's me. John DeVraw and Elena DeVraw. Married. But that's me. This was my wedding. I'm John DeVraw and that's my wife, Elena DeVraw. I remember everything now. I am John DeVore, John DeVore, a scientist working for the British government. She is Elena DeVore, a medic and loving wife. We married on December 13th, 1902. We live in the mansion, DeVore Mansion. The British Army asked me to create a new race of super soldiers for future wars. The first thing I came up with were rats. Rats are used to heavy environments and they're durable. I oh, used to have it heavy environments and durable. I crossed rats with my DNA, a hybrid. Soon I realised the rats were a bad idea. They couldn't take human DNA. They kept dying. I tried many kind of rodents and critters. I just found I found out the mice are perfect and stable. One of them, Subject 5, began to grow immensely. Subject 5 became monstrous and aggressive, so I locked him behind bars to keep Elena and myself safe. Subject 5 was my most successful experiment. 
though, so I wanted him to stay alive. He rejected all sorts of food, dead or alive, but when he lunged at me during one of the trainings, I decided to feed him human. I charmed random women to dine with me in the mansion. I put some pills in their wine to, to sedate them. That's horrible, man. I locked them up in cages in a wine cellar. There was no other way. The beast had to be fed. That's why that woman was so afraid of me. That's why she wanted me dead. One night, Subject 5 broke out of his prison. I bricked up the entrance to the wine cellar in order to keep the world safe. Oh no, oh, I realised, yeah. Dear Elena couldn't take it anymore. She hung herself in the attic. The guilt of capturing all those women was too strong. I was devastated. Without Elena, I have nothing. I committed a suicide attempt. Unfortunately, the pills only blacked me out. So here I am, alive and alone. I am the monster in this story. All the blood is on my hands. The bell? There is still someone I can save. And here we have the bell ringing again. Okay. Let's go check out who's ringing the bell. It's probably the. Oh, there we go. Reverend Lester. What are you doing here? And why are you holding the gun? It's like a revolver, isn't it? John! You have brought the devil upon us. Your evil biddings have to be stopped. The beast is dead, Reverend. Please put down the gun. No, John. It's over. It's the beginning of the apocalypse. Okay. It's one mice man that can be dealt with. I could have saved him. The pistol. I better take it with me. There is one bullet left in the chamber. Really? There's one bullet? That's not some really small clip. Right. Final showdown, I bet. Final showdown. For Elena. For everyone. Oh. That roar is coming from the mansion. Beast. It isn't dead. I wonder what happened to Mark. Mark the shark. Okay. Now this is really... Right. Okay. The little women come to haunt me now. Lovely. I am unfazed by this. Unfazed by your presence, demons. Okay. Oh. It's coming from upstairs. It's that woman again. Where it all started, maybe? beast has torn my room apart. What was it after? <laughs> Bang! Goodness gracious. This is it. This is the end. Either for the beast or for me. The monster will break through eventually. I only have one bullet. The beast, of course. Oh, that's a good point, actually. No! Shoot him in the face! If I do it myself, it's just going to kill everyone anyway. Heroic ending. I wounded the beast. It killed me. It died from its injuries. Elena is with me. We're happy once again. Ah, That's sweet. That was actually really good. I want to see just what happens if we get the other... Oh, God, I've got my thing confused there. One second. There we go. Can I do... Right, I've got the gun. Okay. Oh god, it's so weird this game. Right, there we go. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Fast forward. Oh, I'm stuck. Right, obviously that wasn't the thing to do. I glitched the game. Alright, let's... Right, let's go. Oh. I'm at the church. I hope this doesn't glitch at this time. Go 
God, this is, this is quite weird how it's glitching. Let's see what happens if I do this, right? Yourself. Selfish ending. I cared only for myself. The beast is still a muck. I am wandering a lonely world. Damn. That was a really cool game. Like, just the whole thing is really unique. And I haven't really seen anything like that before like a whole like mice and men of <laughs> mice and men um, no but it's a really good story I mean I really liked how it all came together in the end and it was good it was a good side scrolling game really good features one thing I'd have to say was there are a few grammar mistakes spelling mistakes um, and as you saw there at the end there were sort of glitches if you like load it back into it um, and I had a few times when I died um, but no, other than that, it was a really good game, and I really liked the heroic ending. Um, just sort of like, how that all ended. Thank you so much for watching, guys. It has meant so much to me that you've watched this. Um, it has been a long while since I played the game, but I've really enjoyed this game. Really fun stuff, really good horror. Leave a like if you enjoyed, it really means a lot to me. Subscribe for more videos, and see more awesome content like this every week. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next video. See you later. Ah, here they come. You might want to get out of there. The, the ignition. Oh god. Here he is. Oh god. The music's building up. What is that doing out in the middle of the wood? Wood. What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? What the heck?